I'm gonna show you something. You see how this sink is nicely, nicely lined up with the medicine cabinet. Nicely lined up. What? It's not lined up with the lights. See the lights over to the left a little. I'm not too sure why the contractor did that. Maybe it was dark and you couldn't see what he's doing. Oh yeah, see that big hole up there? I gotta install that in it. First things first, go up to electricity. Now I gotta put this in here, and then you gotta do this, and do that, and I can do this, maybe, maybe I need that, and hey, how much is that? How much is that? Hey, what? 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 Wire cutter, drill, volt tester, electrical tape, marker, leveler, mounting screws, and electrical connections. Remove old fixture, take it down, test if the electricity is off. When it's off, test again to make sure it's off. Unscrew electrical connections, use a leveler and your marker. Check to see if your mounting brace is level, and then mark off the holes where they meet the drywall. Take your drill and drill some holes where you marked off. Now screw in the mounting screws, attach the fixture to the mount to make sure it's level, and that it's nice and lined up with the medicine cabinet. Since the light fixture needs to move over to the left a little, we need to bank new holes into the mounting bracket. To do this, all you gotta do is attach the fixture to the mounting bracket, move it where you need to, take a marker, put it into the holes of the light fixture, and that will mark off on the mounting bracket where to drill new holes. Take everything down. As you can see, the black dots are where new holes will have to be. I'm going to use a drill bit that's for soft metal and then drill away. You don't need a lot of pressure because it will go through like butter. Do the same for the bottom. Now take your wire cutter and cut the sleeve off your wire connections. Connect the black to black with the electrical connector and then wrap electrical tape around it. Then attach the white to the white, put the electrical connector on it, twist it on nice and tight, and then wrap some electrical tape around it, and then ground the sucker. And please, but I'm begging you, read the instructions first before messing with electricity, because I don't want you to get hurt. Wrap it around a couple of times. I personally like doing it four or five times to make sure it's nicely wrapped around the electrical connector and the wires. Don't forget to mount the mounting bracket first. Pull the wires through, reconnect, retape. Drill in the mounting screws tight so the mounting bracket doesn't move, and attach the fixture. Attach the screw on top, make sure it's level, tighten up the screws on top, test out the fixture to make sure it works. Once that's done, since we drilled new holes on the bottom, there's no threads in them, so the screw will fall out. This is why I decided to use some anchors to fit in the holes, so the screw has something to attach to. Push it all the way in. And one thing you can notice that, you can see the yellow sticking out. I didn't like that, so what I decided to do was clip off the tips of it, so you don't see the yellow anymore. And it's all gone. Now I'm just attaching the final screws, as you can't see because I'm in the way. And that's it. Nice and leveled and squared with the medicine cabinet on the bottom. Talk to you next time.